Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So today we're going to go ahead and maybe explore another planet and see what we can come up with. I just noticed that our sh our uh, freighter is parked just in a way that we can see the uh, space station from our windows here. It's actually kind of cool seeing it up close like this on foot because it perspective is completely different on foot compared to... Uh, actually flying around and it's a pretty big station actually like if you're looking at it that's like the width of the part that goes in so that's like if you measure how many blocks or like how many meters it is from there to there it's just like a huge station all right anyhow uh enough rambling let's go ahead and um go ahead and get the mission logs from these guys uh, we've got some idiom, unrefined pyrite grease, and we have the mining vessel still to do. It looks like that one came back successfully, so we don't have to repair it today. That's good. Uh, superconductor fiber, I think that's like a trade item. Alburmin pearl or whatever released arc crystals so we got some trading items and some other things as well we still have um, that cargo bulkhead that we have to put in by the looks of it and we'll put some of this stuff in our cargo I don't think there's much more that needs to go in there we got all these other trade items here have to sell those before the end of the episode or before the end of the season as well all right, I was refining some stuff. Uh, got some of this stuff up here, and there's some other things that I was refining down here as well. Slime, we can start refining that up again. So I'll take about three minutes. Probably in time for next episode for sure. Uh, as far as the other stuff, we can just stick that in our freighter here, and that should be good. Alright, so let's just quickly check to see if there's any new routes for the thing. We'll check the um, progress on the uh, mining vessel as well, as well. so uh, we're about 8%, so only 4% more than what we had. So they're not generally that big long missions either, so few potential routes. We got one.
All right, so I got all the creatures on this planet discovered. Uh, we can go to our thing. They're all flying entities, so I was able to discover most of them before a storm come in uh, or came in. <laughs> come in. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It just doesn't sound grammarly correct. <laughs> Alright, so we got some plants and we got some minerals as well. We discovered on this planet before the uh, storm, so. And uh, I don't know about the storm, it just looks pretty hot mostly, but there wasn't too much stuff here to actually explore. So, uh, I think we're good to go after we. Uh, found all that stuff. Now, uh, I did get a couple parts. I got the uh, salvage forget modules. That's what we were looking for last episode. And we also got that cargo bulkhead from last episode that I forgot to add to uh, our freighter. So we'll go back to our base and our freighter and we'll see if we can't uh, get some of that all set up. Unless there's some planets that we have a clear visual of here. Let's just go into this mode and then we'll see if we can't see them. I'm not sure if we've been to that one. Okay, that one's undiscovered. Another hot planet. Uh, we can go give that one a shot, I guess, before going back. I'll just put the um, parts in our starship. And some of the other things as well. Just so it's um, not on us directly. We got a whole bunch of um, trading tech as well. And a whole bunch of other stuff that I need to refine up again. <laughs> I was already doing that. I almost had it all taken care of. And now I have to do that again. That's alright though. Alright, multi-tool. Oh, we can charge that up. Keep those on us, I guess. Use some oxygen. And we'll charge this up as well. This planet's pretty far away, actually. Let's see what these guys have. Oh, we don't have a metal plate. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we'll head over to that planet, we'll check it out, maybe there'll be some other creatures on there. Alright, so I discovered all the creatures on this planet as well. So we got all of them discovered. There was nine creatures in total. Uh, mostly land creatures. We were able to land right by the water here and find them all. Um, and then I went into the water and we found all those ones. So we got uh, 2,250 nanites for discovering all of them, which isn't too bad. 
Uh, there was a couple birds as well, so that was good. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything nearby that we might want to discover. Another crashed freighter would be nice, but um, I don't know if we'll be able to find one of those without a uh, proper uh, scanning module or chart map or something like that. But we can fly around for a little bit and see if we can't find one of those. And... If we find any other structures that might be noteworthy to actually take on, that would be pretty cool too. Uh, one of the things that we can do is hold the Alt key and just kind of look around. I've noticed that this actually helps a lot more than, you know, just flying around like this. So, I'm just kind of pinning or pointing the ship around because then you have so much more angle to look at. And you can usually find, um, more star sh or more structures like there's that drop pod that was right there. I saw what, what it was, but you can basically just fly around until you see something that you're interested in. And uh, yeah, so I think there's only like let's let's quickly take a look at how many planets we have left. We have actually discovered all of them on this system, so we might be able to go do one more and check that out but just quickly do a fly around just see if there's anything of interest around here and if not then we'll uh okay what what, what do we have here is that a manufacturing facility indeed it is we could always raid that i guess it's actually on a nice little angle right here for us to uh, take on so I'm going to bookmark the location so we don't lose track of it when we go out into the atmosphere and then I'll blow open the door and then we'll escape the uh, thing and then we can go back to that marker. So I'll switch to that and then we'll go into this person view and I'll start blowing open the door. There we go. All right. Sometimes you just need a good rocket. So we got all the planets discovered, all the creatures, I think, discovered in the system. I'm not sure if we got all of them, but um, we got quite a bit of them. 
And I just have some stuff to sell quickly. I did uh, make some changes to the base, but we'll take a look at that in just a second. That, and this, and that. Perfect. All right. So we got that part done. We have those two um, vessels out for uh, the missions at the moment. So that's good. I made some changes to the farm down here. I put the... Um, what do you call it the vine type stuff on the ceiling like we did on the other one and I accidentally deleted that but I was able to put it back and fix that and you might have noticed the walls are actually the um, same as this one so it's right up against the um, what do you call it the storage containers and if we go to the storage container one it's the same as same wall type as the storage container, but same as the plant on the other side So it's uh, these two wall pieces where we had the doors, but um, yeah outside of that it looks really good and um, We're finding a whole bunch of stuff down into uh, Like the junk items down into actual resources So that's pretty good. And I also got um couple different tech modules uh, so we got the wall piece and we got the standard um, expansion room so we can do that uh, if we want to add expansion rooms so that's what I use those and I also expanded our inventory a little bit more for the freighter as well so that's what I put everything towards anyhow if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out